So welcome to Techno Day of Life and today is a Black Friday special and we're going to pick out the mini PCs that are best for Plex that are on sale today on Black Friday and I'll show you those and so we'll have a generally accepted uh, things that would be the cheapest that I would go and then more expensive that would be even better. So let's take a look. This year is a great year to buy a mini PC for Plex or any type of server. So first is a B-Link and it has 8 gigs of memory, 256 gigabytes hard drive. That's an M.2 hard drive. It also has space for a 2.5 inch hard drive. Now all of the mini PCs that I'm going to be showing today have both M.2 and space for a 2.5 and a half or 2.5 inch hard drive and you'll find those in laptops uh, if you have an old laptop that's where I would get one or you can just buy a new one they're pretty cheap so this has the Intel 95095 which is a Jasper Lake chipset and for transcoding we can see Jasper Lake here we can do 4k which is HEVC Havoc 10 bits uh, but not 12-bit. Next we have the Atop Nook which is only $94. So this is even cheaper than the last one. This has the Celeron N4020 and this one is a completely silent one so it does not have any fans and again it has the 2.5 inch hard drive bay extension and the M.2 slot for if you want to expand that. So the N4020 is a Gemini Lake and we can see Gemini Lake also does 4K transporting transcoding up to 10 bit. Next we have the Kemru which has the N5105 and this is $199 but it has a $50 off coupon and so the N5105 is also Jasper Lake and again we can do 4k transcoding at 10 bit. Next we have the fanless no name Intel Atom Z8350 and so this one is $87 but it also has a $35 off coupon. This is a cherry tail chipset and we can say that it does not do 4K transcoding. You can stream 4K, but you can't transcode it. It can transcode 1080p ones. And then finally, our high-end mini PC. So this is a 6-core Ryzen 5 5560U. And so here you can see that this chipset performs better than different Ryzen 7s i5s and also performs better than the N5095. So to do transcoding with all these chipsets you need the Plex Pass and so the Ryzen chipset in particular works well in Windows but is not officially supported in Linux yet but there is a workaround in the forums for Linux and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Plex has also said that they are going to be bringing out Ryzen support in Linux soon too. So I'll leave links in the description to everything that I mentioned. Happy Black Friday and I'm going to be buying a few of these myself. Take care. Bye bye.